Daphne, residents are about to pay higher property taxes. A new property tax hike passed last week during a special election in an effort to support the city's public schools. WKRG News 5's Blake Brown tells you who gets to decide how that added revenue will be spent. Yeah, the next step is to build a committee that will decide how those dollars are spent. A new three mil property tax increase passed last week in Daphne. 1,355 residents voting in favor of the increase to support the six public schools in the city. Whatever specific need they have, they get to come to us as a committee and say, hey, this is my specific need. This is where I need the most help. This is the class that's falling behind. You know, whatever that is. First Mayor Robin Lejeune says that committee will have to be selected, but he expects the group to be in place by November. We'll be working with the city council and the school board to help us kind of go through that. We're, you know, we're looking to Fairhope to kind of model after their committee. They've got a great committee down there and we've gotten a lot of information from them. Then the committee will determine which needs to focus on first and how the estimated $1.1 million in annual revenue will be spent. Spanish Fort, Fairhope, and Robertsdale have all passed similar measures in recent years. Mayor Lejeune says it's all about making sure students receive the best education possible. And if teachers need extra support in the classroom from instructional aides or additional resources, he wants to make sure they have what they need. Now we get to actually specifically go, okay, we've got money that we can specifically help your child or your, you know, uh, your school specifically and not have to worry about the overall, hey, the school board goes, well, this school needs a little more than, than you do. You'll have to wait. The property tax increase will go into effect January 1st. In Daphne, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.